The first method for adding length or shortening a pattern piece is by doing it on the fly. You would actually lay down your fabric, but I've gone ahead and done it on a piece of paper just so you can see my cuts, which are just the blue Sharpie marker. So you would cut everywhere that I'm currently drawing with my blue Sharpie marker. I'm cutting everything above the lengthen or shorten line right up to that line. If your pattern doesn't have a line on it, you can use Adobe Reader to use the comment tools to draw a quick line or mark where you want to lengthen or shorten. Then grab a quilting ruler. I like my clear acrylic ruler. And I'm going to mark how much I want to increase, add, or subtract from the pattern. I'm laying my ruler down and I'm going to be increasing the length by one inch. So I've lined up the line with one inch. Using the arrow keys on your keyboard, I will move the pattern not the fabric, I'm shifting the pattern. Once I've shifted the pattern that one inch, I will continue cutting out the bottom of the pattern. This particular pattern, I was cutting to the capri length. You would cut again right where I was using that Sharpie. I just wanna show you how to quickly add or subtract length, so lengthen or shorten a pattern using Affinity Designer. I've pulled up a pat pattern here, and the pink line, let me zoom in, is my lengthen and shorten line that is marked on the pattern. If your pattern piece doesn't have a line marked, make sure you choose a spot that will be great for adding or lengthening. I'm going to choose the Node tool and then come over and you can select the nodes that are right on the length and our short line, or if you just click, you can add a node if you need to. Um, then we're going to select all the nodes at the length and short line and below. So let me go ahead and zoom out here and I'm just going to drag and select all the nodes on that line that are at the length and short line and below. Since this pattern is vertically on the Y axis is where I'm going to lengthen or shorten, I'm going to come over to the transform box and I just click right next to that number. I don't want to delete that number. I just want to click right next to it. And then I'm going to do plus if I'm adding length or minus if we're going to shorten the pattern. So I'm going to do plus. Let's say I need to lengthen it by an extra half an inch. I'm going to put that in decimal form which would be 0 decimal 5, click enter, and it shifted the entire pattern down. You can also do that by subtracting, and you can see it went back. That's also how you shorten it. Again, subtract 0 0.5, a half an inch, and it's shortened that pattern by half an inch. I'm going to put it back to its original. And that is how you quickly lengthen or shorten a pattern using Affinity Designer. All right, now I want to help you with some troubleshooting because sometimes it doesn't go as smoothly as you've just seen me do it. So I want to help you with a few things. Now, let's say I go ahead and I select all of the bottom nodes on my pattern piece and I type in I'm going to add plus one so you can see it. And there is a gap. You see there was a gap here. Let me zoom in so you can see that a little bit better. A gap appeared when I separated the nodes. What that means is the pattern was broken. The lines were broken or your curve was broken at that point. So just push control Z and it's going to undo. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select these nodes. I'm going to push shift here and we're going to go ahead once it's back to where it should be. We're just going to say close curve. Sorry, not close curve. We're going to say join curves. And now they should all be joined into one. Zoom out. And now we should be able to do what we wanted to do before, which is to select all the nodes on the bottom half. And we can come in and add our length plus one. And there is no gap. It's seamless right where you added that length. 
So there you have it, a little bit of troubleshooting. If, you, if it breaks apart your pattern, just make sure you go and join those curves before adding the length. Hope this helps. All right, now I wanna jump over to another digital program that you can do some digital pattern alterations and that is in Inkscape. When I use Inkscape, I do use it in conjunction with PDF Stitcher to isolate the size that I will be working on. That way you are don't have a lot of other layers that you either need to delete or that are in your way. PDF Stitcher will just clean it up so it's just your size showing. If I come on here, I'm gonna go ahead and select the node tool. And in Inkscape, it doesn't appear that there are any nodes right on that lengthen and shorten line. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to add a node by double clicking where I want those nodes to be to increase the length. Select all the nodes at the length and the shorten line and below. Make sure your units are in your units of measurement that you'll be using. I'm using inches. And I'm going to add, let's go ahead and add a whole inch length. And you can see it shifted down just like it did in Affinity Designer. You can do the same thing by shortening, by subtracting the amount that you need. Finally, if you're intimidated by any of the previous methods, you can definitely go ahead and start by tracing. I've just laid a piece of paper down. You can use any kind of tracing paper or wrapping paper, whatever you have around. Project your size, your pattern, and trace out the pattern. From there, you can treat it like any other paper pattern and do any of the paper pattern alterations that you are used to. For example, when you are lengthening or shortening a paper pattern, you just take out your scissors and cut right along the lengthen and shorten line, spread it apart the distance that you need, add some tape and cut it out and you have your pattern ready to go. If you are more comfortable with that right now, you're not quite ready to do it with digital or on the fly, feel free to do that and then try out some of the other methods when you are a little bit more comfortable I do stand by the other methods. I know they work just as well as making the alterations with pattern. You can see here I've compared the one I did using the trace and cut out with the one I did on the fly and they match up perfectly.